Yeah, the, you got you got to watch months of inventory because I think that's going to be yeah. Vegas's telltale sign, like every other place. It, I mean, if you look at percentages, they're going to be percentages lie, statistics lie. Right. But if you look at months of inventory, that's going to really show you buyer sellers market what's going on. And I I suspect Vegas by March it's a very different story when you and I talk. Yeah, and you know I just kind of flash back just to make sure, but. You know, when you look at the inventory levels, I mean, I can go back week by week for a decade. Yeah. If you look at the week by week inventory levels, inventory typically decreases until you get to the end. It's somewhere between the last week in February and mid March. So, yeah. as low as we are, and I just looked the other day and we were below last week substantially. Wow. Inventory is going to creep down. I wouldn't be surprised if by March we end up around 4,500, 5,000 properties. And that's, that's, that's when we're coming out, guys. So, yeah. like I said, you know, as, as, as bad as things look, if you look a little bit farther down the line, there's a lot of really good metrics. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we drop a little bit in value and then we manage to like plateau out only because we have such a constrained amount of inventory. And don't forget, you're going to get that surprise uptick in January, just because I, I said that. Because right. he can't lose the bet, right, guys? Because <laughs> yeah, I can't lose a dollar. <laughs> Come on, Vegas. 